Hey yo, wobble wobble wobble, this is Downtown Adrian J with the kicking the sounds in London town. Welcome along to Adrian J Online and welcome to J's Computers. Don't go away, we're going to be talking about mices, mices, mouses, mice. Yes, we're going to be talking about mice. And then there was... <laughs> what is it? Is it Mises or Mices or Mouses? <laughs> okay, so uh, today I'm going to talk to you about is this little demo on Logitech. This is kind of a demo on wireless kit. So wireless mouses, wireless keyboards. Now, uh, a while ago I, rem I remember I, I bought like a, a keyboard mouse uh, combi thing and uh, many years ago and I ended up losing the mouse or breaking the mouse and then I had to get another combi and that was before I worked out and understood about something called Logitech Unified Devices. So Logitech and also Dell because I have the same situation at Dell, they come, a lot of these devices come with a dongle. Now sometimes the dongle is paired to this. Okay, can you see? It's paired to this, so you can only use it with this, right? So if you lose this, you can't buy one of these. And if you buy this, if you lose this, you can't buy one of these. You've got to buy the whole thing. And to be honest, they're not particularly expensive. At, at one stage, they were quite expensive. But uh, I bought, uh, a, a, you can buy a, a wireless mouse for about 20 bucks. Also buy combo set for about 30 40 bucks so you see you don't really want to be um, uh, getting them individually if you can so I lost my mouse actually I think it was stolen stolen from work I left it on the, the desk and I couldn't find it afterwards when I went back to my desk the next day so I was kind of scuppered and I remember on my old Windows 7 machine I heard something about unified, Logitech Unified, and I couldn't work out how to get it to work, to pair, to get it matched. And as it happened, the software wasn't compatible with Windows 7. So that's what the problem is. Now, I've kind of upgraded to Windows 10. I, yeah, I know we're on Windows 11, but upgraded to Windows 10 using the, the new Dell. I've still got my other one because I just love Windows 7. So it's a good machine, it's a lot faster, internet's faster, and there's a lot more software available for it. So, basically, I want to talk to you about, as I said, Unified, Logitech Unified. I think they've got another thing out, I've forgotten what it's called, I'll try and post it here, there's something else, Bolt, is it? Boy, you're running out to grab some lunch. And you take that hairpin curve just a little too fast. But we're talking about uh, Logitech Unified. Now, apparently, and don't take my word for this because I can't remember, I'm just going on memory. Because this is like a, uh, I thought I'd do a quick video <laughs> off the cuff. So I didn't, haven't done a lot of, too much research. Uh, so Logitech uh, Unified won't isn't so logitech unified is the original one the new one logitech bolt i call it bolt i don't know what the hell it is 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 backward compatible to unified i think but it's not forward compatible if that makes sense i, I could be totally wrong and now a message from tweety but this is how you can tell if you buy usually if you buy a a Logitech combo on the packaging it will say unified or I'm going to try and get in close can you see that see this little this doofer it looks like a it looks like a little star an orange star that means that this device this dongle is unified so you can pair you can remove and you can add more okay out the box if you bought this Logitech set it's automatically paired to work so there's nothing to no drivers like back in the day on Windows 7 or Windows 95 or XP you plug this in it sees it and it just literally works you've got a you've got a on off switch there can you see and you've got an on off oh, 
It's all right. You've got an on off. Ah. Come on, Adrian. You've got an on off switch there. All you have to do is switch, switch it on, and that's it. Bam, it works. Now, let's say, as what happened to me uh, last week, I lose my mousey. So, what you have to do is you have to go out and buy a, a new mousey. Now, when you buy a mousey, when you go out and buy a mousey, on the packaging, it should, if it's unified, have this sign, right? Now, if you buy a Logitech mouse, any Logitech mouse, and this one is the M310, I really like this, right? The nice shape, nice, nice feel. If you buy that, it comes with a dongle, but the dongle looks like this. No um, thingy on there. So that means that this is only paired to this. But as, as, as I didn't lose my dongle, I have my, my dongle. So I can add or remove devices. So now you don't have to worry whether you've lost the mouse, lost the keyboard, or in fact, if you want to add another mouse. So for example, you, you got like a, a big area and you, you've got your stuff in one area and there's a mouse back there and a keyboard. You can add up to six devices, some mouses and keyboards, right? Or if you want to upgrade your keyboard, you want to get a, a flashy keyboard. As long as it is unified, okay, it will work. Now, if you look on the mouses, mousey mouses, can you see that? Can you see that? That means that this will work with a unified receiver. And on the back of this keyboard, if I see here, oh, sorry, I'm just trying to see it so I can see. Yeah. Oops. Where is it? All right, can you see there? That, that uh, next to the K5, it's a K540, but if you can see there, so that means it's unified, right? So I'm gonna, I've already installed it and done it, okay? But I can kind of retro do it for you if you like. I'm gonna show you some steps. I'm gonna actually show you how you can tell what you've got on there, how to unpair, and how to add, okay? That's probably the best way to do it. So right, what we need is this piece of software, okay? And you get it from Logitech. It's called Unified uh, 252.exe. Okay, so that's what we need. I've already downloaded it and extended it, but I wanna show you uh, where we go to. So what you need to do, these are the kind of steps you need to do. Go to Google and uh, search for download Logitech Unifying software. Okay, here. See that there? All right. This first one, you see if I come out, you'll see a whole whack of stuff. But you want this first one here. Okay. Unifying software, Jaybird Logitech. Okay. Click that. This is the unifying software. So, there are different, um, if we can see there, sorry. These are the versions of software, 7, 8, 10, and 11. Trust me, Windows 7, I could not get to work on it. So you select Windows 10. Right, so after you've selected Windows 10, you'll see this, okay? So just trying to find getting a bit closer. So this will work on Windows 10 or 11. It's only a four megabyte. You download it. That's all you do. Bada bing, bada boom. Now I've already downloaded it. When you download it, you will then get, okay? And when you run it, you'll get the agreement, you'll install it. And once it's installed, you're good to go. Logitech Unifying Software. So if we open that. So once it's installed, it's, uh, it's done, right? So if you hit advanced, it will actually show you what you have on your computer. Let's go here. So this is another way you can check if your 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 everything is working. So I've got the K540, and this is the mouse wireless that I have. And this is where you would pair a new device. Okay? So as I've already got, sorry, <laughs> as I've already got said mousey, <laughs> I can't, I, I haven't got another device, but 
uh, let's go to uh, I just want uh, actually uh, you can also unpair so if I go let's go to next and this shows you how you would actually pair it so for example if this was a new mouse what I would if this was a new uh, if this is a new mouse right what you would do is uh, you literally switch it off switch it on and it does it so what I want to show you is how you unpair okay ah right sorry so can you see it says here pair a new device right I'm going to unpair the keyboard no uh, so I'm going to uh, I need another mouse actually don't I so, you know what I'm going to do? This is what I did last time. Let me get another mouse. Plug another mouse that I, I have. So, I have one of these, like, gamey mouses. So, I've plugged it in. Okay. And this mouse, you can see, the pointer, I'm using my wired mouse because I want to show you what happens. So, if you select the mouse you have, can you see here? It gives you the option to unpair it. Also, another good thing, it tells you about the mouse. For example, it's an active mouse, the bat battery is good. So, if we want to unpair it, we unpair it. And bingo, bango, this mouse is now no longer working. Okay? So now, what we do is we come along, we get our mouse. What I would suggest you do is switch the mouse off. Okay? Switch the mouse off. Then close right now so what you would do is let's close this so now let, let's just say we've lost the mouse right we want to add our new mouse so we open up our um, uh, our logitech software software opens up now we click next now it's telling us to switch the mouse on so i'm going to switch the mouse on make sure if your mouse please move it can you see this is this new mouse please confirm that the mouse is moving hit yes hit next finish now if I reopen the unifying software now if I hit advanced can you see the mouse is there so I'll unplug so I'll unplug my oops sorry I'll unplug the wired mouse Okay, so the wired mouse isn't there. We have my, oops, we have my Logitech. We'll go back to the screen. Oops. And now, mousey is working. Close it, and then just exit out. Sorry, <laughs> the, the video is a little bit hit and miss. It was just something I wanted to do at the last minute. So that is how you can pair up your mouse, mice, meesey, mice's meesies. Uh, or whatever to get your get your thing done. All right, so um, short, sharp, and sweet. Well, maybe it's not so sharp, short, sharp, and sweet, but it's it's a good little trick to try. So uh, if you can't be good, be careful. If you can't be careful. Name enough me to be J and J. If you like this video, please like, hit that like button, put it into orbit, smash it, please smash it, put it into orbit and subscribe and also consider a super thanks i mean this wasn't particularly fantastic but if you feel that i've saved you from having to buy a whole combo unit and just buy a mouse or use someone else's mouse that you may have half inched then that may be worth a cup of coffee all right so if you fancy it if you see it down below super thanks here give us a super thanks not necessary because I'm fine, honestly, but if you want to, that's fine. All right, so take it easy. I'm out of here. Bye for now. Keep your Mises in several pieces. Bye.